In early 1978, 29-year-old astrophysicist Dr. Sally Ride notified her family of an important event in her career. She'd been selected by NASA to be an astronaut candidate. They're um, almost as excited as I am. My mother's reaction was that uh, my, I have another sister who's in theology. She's at a theological seminary, and my mother said, well, you know, one of the two of them is going to get to heaven. <laughs> The aircraft is a modified uh, C-8. During a recent tour of NASA's Ames Research Center in California, Sally Ride flew simulators, viewed wind tunnel tests of advanced planes, and inspected high-flying Earth observation aircraft. Using the same controls that are in the... Dr. Ride holds a bachelor's degree in English and bachelor's, master's, and Ph.D. degrees in physics from Stanford University. Her scientific interests focus on a discipline called astrophysics. First of all, astrophysics is really the physics of astronomy. It's physics applied to astronomy. And an astrophysicist is interested in stellar evolution, um, processes that go on in outer space, uh, maybe expansion of the universe, that sort of thing. We asked Sally Ride what she hopes to accomplish as an astronaut aboard the space shuttle. Well, that's really hard to say because I, I think that um, I'm not going to be able to carry out very much of my own research. Um, I'm not going to be able to, you know, pack up an X-ray telescope in a suitcase and carry it up with me on the shuttle. So I'm going to be involved in um, other people's experiments, hopefully from the research end, but uh, probably uh, just as much sort of turning on and off their experiments and operating their experiments from the shuttle. So I haven't really had time to think out uh, exactly what I want to accomplish in terms of uh, scientific research. Sally Ride is one of 35 persons recently selected as an astronaut candidate from a field of over 8,000 applicants. Can she pinpoint exactly when she became interested in flying into space? I think it's probably evolved over a period of time. I, it's something that I've kind of had in the back of my mind for uh, probably ever since junior high school. I think that, you know, when I was 12, if someone had uh, offered me the chance to be an astronaut, I would have jumped at it then. About the importance of space flight, Sally Ride made these observations. From a scientific point of view, there are, there are advantages in almost every field of science. Astrophysics is obvious. Um, X-ray astrophysics, which is what I'm specifically involved in, uh, X-rays don't make it through the atmosphere, so y you have to be in space to do any experimentation at all. That's true in other fields of, of astrophysics, infrared astronomy um, as well. I think um, medicine, uh, there are any number of things that you might be able to learn in physiology about the human body that uh, just the way that it reacts to weightlessness, I'm sure, will, will be very important. Um, materials processing, you know, earth resources. I think earth resources may be the most, um, the most obviously um, the most obvious application to um, maybe life on Earth. I'm, I'm more interested in it from the astrophysics point of view. I'm not a Dr. Sally Ride is one of six women astronauts now in training for spaceflight. And about becoming the first American female to travel into space. My feeling is that uh, I want to get up as soon as I can. <laughs> so that means that I'd like to be the first woman up. But uh, I, don't, I don't have any uh, great desire to be the first woman.